Well, you guessed it. I'm at the airport again. Going to Atlanta this time. We've got a, a conference, which I'm actually really excited about. I'm not excited about taking a 5.30 in the morning flight, but hey, what are you going to do? Um, so this conference is the PMI, Project Management Institute Global Conference, and I'll tell you more when I get Hey everybody, we're in Atlanta. Um, I didn't start to film because I'm stressed about this weekend. I'm supposed to have business cards, or not weekend, trip, conference thing. I'm supposed to have business cards, ordered them. They haven't arrived yet, which means that I don't have them. But I did download one of those business card sharing apps. So hopefully I can at least, you know, oh, look like I'm super tech forward and just share it that way. Um, I feel like my company probably might already have one of those and I should have looked into that. Maybe I will tonight um, because yes. All right, let's get networking. I still have like an hour, I think, before I can actually pick up my stuff, like my sign-in package and everything, but I'm hoping there's some kind of food around because I had a singular pop tart for breakfast and that was like four or five hours a long time ago before my flight my flight was at like 5 a.m and it's now 10 so but central time it was i'm tired all right let's go inside hey look i'm outside it was very cold when I left Wisconsin this morning, so I'm I'm just pretty happy about this the situation I got going on. All right, so we're here for the uh, project management conference. My main focus is on learning about artificial intelligence, machine learning applications within project management, data and that, data analysis, analytics how we can apply that in project management, how we can um, use AI ethically, are there ways that I can make my job easier using AI. Um, I do a little bit of project management, mostly I'm an engineer, but engineers are all project managers when you think about it. All right. I'm very excited. I don't know how much I'll be able to film inside because obviously like they're gonna it costs money to be here and so they're not they don't want me giving away all of the content for free but I am very excited about it less excited about the networking um, but I am being all advanced by having a digital business card right you guys right this shows that I'm I have innovation not anything bad oh. Yeah. Reduce the distance between the projects and the work. You guys. I'm so excited. So many cool booths. So much cool information. Cool people talking about cool things. It's pretty cool. But I did just get a meeting invite for one of my projects that is going to conflict with one of the, um, like, one of the sessions that I was most excited about. So that's kind of annoying. So I had to go to my car, get my laptop, because I didn't want to carry that around the conference. And now I guess 
Oh God, oh my God, I spent one more session today. It's unfortunate. But I did confirm that I'll have access to any other ones that I miss virtually starting Monday. Ew, oh my God. It's like something gross on the floor of this elevator. Yuck, it wasn't there. It was the one that I took down like five minutes ago. It wasn't there when I went to my car. So. When I do that, did you see? It's so nice out here. Okay, so I'm at the end of day one of the summit. I only got to attend two sessions, but I did talk to a whole bunch of cool people in the exhibit hall. Um, I did not get in line for lunch because the line was forming while I was having one of those conversations. And um, then by the time I was done with my very interesting, wonderful conversation, where I learned about some cool stuff, uh, the line was like over an hour long and I was not gonna waste a whole hour doing that. But the dessert line, was short so I did get some peach like turnovers or something which were delicious so uh yes also there's a youtuber I don't think that's his main job um but people who were sitting next to me were very excited that one of the talks I went to he was the guy from YouTube um I looked him up so like a hundred thousand ish subscribers I don't remember his name, but I'll link him below, and later I'll remember his name and I'll tell you guys about him. But he does a bunch of like uh, project management type videos, and yes, this is me. And he was very funny. Um, I, I very much enjoyed his presentation. Also gave me some really cool ideas for my presentation that I have to do. Uh, to show what I learned here. I'm not just gonna copy what he did, but I am going to steal some of his ideas. <laughs> not steal, present his ideas and give him credit. But yeah, he did a very good job. So now we're going back to the hotel. I did have my meeting. I was not able to get my laptop to work, which was very upsetting. Um, and then like also, I just had bad connection, and so I didn't end up getting to say anything on the call, but I took notes, um, and I'm glad that I was there. It's important for me to hear that kind of stuff and be present. I wish that, uh, I wish that I could have been more present and participatory. Participatory? That almost sounds dirty. Anyway! <laughs> To the hotel. I'm going to check that text message. And then to the hotel. Mm -hmm. It goes over Dayton, Ohio, where the racks is. Is it? Yep. I don't know. All right, just got to the hotel. Let me tell you, not a fan of Atlanta traffic. There's a whole bunch of construction going on. It kept getting rerouted. I... <sighs> not a fan. Anyway, I'm staying at a Sinesta this time, which I know, crazy. Personal preference being Kilton. Generally, the people of my group, if I'm traveling in a group, they all like Marriott's. Um, I don't remember the last time I stayed in a Sinesta. Anyway, check it out. First thing, immediately, I've been watching a lot of that like feng shui guy that does shorts about rearranging like people's houses and hotel rooms and stuff. And this, immediately when you walk in, is a big no-no. And he would move it. I don't, I don't even know where. Anyway, so immediately to your right, you've got, you know, your little sink, your little kitchenette. I'm guessing we've got a, yep, mini fridge. Cool, I should turn on some lights. And it's not showing up super well in here, but this just feels very dated. Like the color on the towel, or on the tile. Sorry. Um, cool, cool. Uh, nice. Don't look. 
Uh, so then you come in, you've got the bed. Spoiler alert, I did walk in and drop my stuff because I did not feel like carrying it anymore because it's heavy. Some little scuff marks as I kick it and add to the scuff marks. See this desk? I feel like Feng Shui Guy would move this over and put the little closet thingy in that corner. But I don't know if that would then block the, the air conditioner. So maybe the closet thingy should go over here. I feel like the bed should maybe be like rotated. I don't know. I'm not a feng shui person. I don't know how things are supposed to be. That clock is wrong. It says it's 2.42. It is like right after 5 p.m. Um, I do like this little couch thing. It looks a lot cozier than most of the um, furniture and hotel rooms that I've seen. And then directly out my window, I mean, you can already see, probably, Oof. pain. But other than the giant uh, billboard for pain, it's a kind of nice view. It's pretty. Also, this is the main parking lot for the front of the hotel. Um, it's empty. <laughs> uh, it is only five, so maybe more people will show up later. And it is like in the middle of the week, but most of the hotels, especially right around the convention center, were um, booked. So I feel like there should be more. This was the most reasonably priced room in Atlanta that was left. So, am I going to be murdered? I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do for dinner either. So, I need to, I've got a checklist of work that I need to do um, tonight. And... I mean, before dinner, after dinner, it doesn't really matter. Um, I did just find out that they do serve dinner at this hotel, though, from 6 to 9, which is pretty cool. I wasn't expecting that. Because, um, yeah, as I said, I'm very hungry. I did not eat much for breakfast. I did not eat much for lunch. And, yeah. That's, that's not good. Um, I might try texting my sister. So, Saturday, I'm going to have a decent amount of time between the end of my last session and when my flight is leaving. Um, so, I definitely want to see my sister if I can, whether I can... I like get dinner with her tomorrow or if I'm just going to wait and eat with her or meet, mm, hang out with her and her child um, after everything on Saturday. I don't know. I should talk to her and see what the vibe is. Um... Cause she like, she lives in Atlanta, but not in Atlanta, you know, like of all of my family, she is the closest to Atlanta. Um, I wasn't expecting to see her though. Otherwise I would have, um, I would have, I, I have some presents for her, her, her kid, uh, that I would have brought. Um, anyway. So, I was thinking that I'd come up here, take a nap, then get dinner, and then do work. But if I do it in that order, then I can't have a drink with dinner. And after today, I kind of want a drink. <laughs> um, nah. Yeah. 
the stream. Kind of smells bad though. Maybe it's just me. I know I smell bad. Uh, Cause I had been wearing my suit jacket all day. I don't think I'm gonna wear it for the next two days. I'm gonna take a nap. I'll tell you guys about dress code later. So I got chips and artichoke dip, but they're out of the pita chips that it's supposed to come with. So let me pick like chips that they had in the store. We'll see. This is a terrible idea. I think just getting the spinach and artichoke dip was a terrible idea. But it was limited on what they were serving. Um, also supposed to be getting some uh, chicken tenders. I'll report back. I wasn't expecting fries, so I'm very excited about that. Um, was kind of expecting a fork, though. All right, dinner was fine. <laughs> Definitely not um, what I was expecting from what the front desk described. But I'm going to take a shower and probably go to bed, honestly. So I will see you. <clears throat> I'll see you in the morning. Good morning, everyone. It is now Friday. Oh, that's quick. Having a little bit of a later start today just because of some wardrobe things. Anyway, I am feeling very dehydrated. So, number one, I'm getting a water bottle. And then number two, I've got some great sessions picked out today. Um, again, AI focused things. All right, let's get started. <laughs> Alright, that's the end of the day. The last session that I had planned to go to was full. So, didn't get to see that, but I'll watch it later on the virtual replay. Um, but yeah, I ended up going to a really great talk about closing the gender gap and what that really looks like uh, as far as organizational culture, but also how we can affect um, how people perceive women in project management. Um, yeah, there's a lot of good talk in there. It, I got a, a little laugh whenever I walked in because I said, it looks like there's a gender gap in this room. And then at the end, during the questions, it was mentioned a few times that of the, I don't know, 50 or so people in the room, 100 people in the room, there were only five dudes. Five to ten. Somewhere in that range. Um, Alright, so now I'm just walking back to my car. And then this evening, I get to work. Because some of the clients that had previously told me no rush on a thing asked about a deliverable uh, and copied my boss on it. So then he very much wants it up today. However, he's going to have to review it, and it's the end of the day on a Friday. Is he going to be able to review it? I don't know. I do love my job. Sometimes some of the different like weird hoops and crap that I've got to jump through 
are not my favorite. Um, oh, this person next to me. It's fine. It's not weird that I'm vlogging. Um, it's just not something that I'm used to having to have everything that I do super scrutinized before I can, like, I don't know. It's really frustrating. Um, it just feels like I can't run my own work, run my own projects. Oh my god, I feel like crying right now. I think last time, or earlier, there were some shots of there was a, uh, a glam squad that was doing hair and makeup. I didn't get the makeup done just because I never wear makeup so it seemed silly to have makeup on in my uh, headshot because um, yeah there's hair and makeup so that you can get your headshot done and then um, there's a, another company that then on Wednesday of next week I will get to see it uh, I don't know if I'll like it more than my current headshot uh, just because I'm not wearing a, a jacket and also, <laughs> I asked her to curl my hair a little bit and just kind of went overboard. I don't know how it's showing up. Like, this side is just like... There's enough hairspray to get me to the photo booth. Um, so I, I don't know what it's doing now. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to go get some food, I think. Because um, I'm not eating at the hotel tonight. But... Oof, um, was not ideal in any sense of the word. So, we'll, we'll go and eat and then do some work, send it to my boss, see if he'll review it on a Friday night, because I don't think that he will, but that's the expectation. All right, done crying. Just no crying in project management. Um, that's not true. Feel your emotions. It is always best to, you know, cry in a private car park versus in front of everyone. Which I've done that too in the past. Um, uh, one of the places I worked before my current, actually both of them, the places I used to work. All of the places I used to work before my current job, um, where I was working in the office, I would cry in my cube. Um, I would try and make it not obvious to anyone around me, but it happened. Um, I just got tired of going to cry in the bathroom. Um, it, it just took too much time because I would cry a lot, and so I needed to keep working while I was crying. Anyway, oh, so GPS took me a different way to the hotel. I did not pass any of the restaurants that I was going to stop at. I did pass a lot of other restaurants, though, so I'm going to try, since I'm not as exhausted today as I was yesterday, I'm going to try and get this work done quickly so I can um, go eat somewhere. I don't know where that will be. But, I mean, part of it is I'm in Atlanta, and I don't like driving in Atlanta, so I really wanted to just grab a drive through on the way. But I'm also upset, and so I don't want to... <laughs> you don't want to do anything! Uh, no, I'm upset, and when I'm upset, I'm, I, I'm not as hungry sometimes. Depends on what kind of upset. Uh, but I literally, the only thing that I've eaten today, I think, yeah, the only thing I've eaten today was uh, I had a coffee, an iced latte, which isn't even really eating, but it is consuming calories, so we're going to count it. Anyway, I do wish that I had brought different pants. So right now, I just have my um, business pants, and I don't really want to go out in public in them. I want to wear my giant um, nuclear science history museum sweatshirt and like blue jeans or something. Um, 
but my only other option for pants are some pink pajama shorts. I'm definitely not gonna wear those out. But hey, with my hair being the way that it is, I just threw it up in a ponytail. I couldn't deal with it anymore. Um, I, I think it looked really good for the picture, which is what counts. And if I wasn't vlogging, nobody else would know. <laughs> Except for, you know, some random people that I chatted with at the conference. What was I saying? I don't even remember. Let's get to work. Nobody wants to work anymore. All right. All right, you guys, I am working. I've been working for like an hour, two hours, I don't know. Um, but I did find peanut M&Ms that are probably quite old. Let's see, best before, hmm, it's rubbed off. <laughs> but it's, I got it sometime in the last year or so, because it was on a work trip. Because it was in my work bag. Um, it, like, the, it's, I'm pretty sure I would have got this at an airport somewhere. Um, just because of the shape of the bag. <clears throat> And that it's peanut M&M's. They're not my typical favorite. If you guys watched my 500 subscribers spectacular where I ate all the peanut butter M&M's, you know peanut butter is my favorite. I have not yet finished that bag. However, John, boyfriend, if I haven't uh, clarified that before this, um, he's helping me move while I'm down here, which... I mean, bless him. I, I feel so bad that I'm not helping more. Like, I helped a little bit. <laughs> but I need to be out of my house soon. Anyway, um, so he found the bag that's maybe half eaten. And so he's going to eat the rest, probably. Hopefully there's still some by the time I get off of this trip. Um, his peanut butter m &Ms are the best about as good as Reese's Pieces. Um, anyway, yes, I am still working. It's probably, I don't know. I'm in a good rhythm. Um, I was watching, like I just had some YouTube going on in the background, so <clears throat> I'll probably go back to that. Which I need to save some for the flight tomorrow, so I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see what I end up doing. I don't know. I'm tired. Um, hopefully I get through this soon so that um, the boss isn't too mad when I message him asking if he can review it. I don't the other thing I was going to say is I remembered to bring pens and I have notebooks, especially because I've been given, I think, at least two or three notebooks from the conference. Um, but those are in my car. And so there are a couple of notes that I need to take. So I've been... So I've been taking them on the back of a very old Avis pamphlet. Uh, it's fine. Everything's fine. All right, it's quarter to 10. So I no longer have the option of eating <laughs> unless I want to be just around Atlanta at this time of night and I do not. Um, so instead, oh, that's a weird stain. Yeah. Ominous. Anyway, um, yeah, I got all my work done. Did get it approved by the boss. He had one comment. So it's a good thing. I send it to him. If he ever sees this, I need to cut a bunch of this stuff out. I'm being just kind of sassy. Anyway, uh, but also one of my friends is thinking of applying at my current place of work. <laughs> Which maybe this isn't the best. <laughs> um advertisement 
for my place of work, but if you want to work where I work, let me know, because I, I do get a, uh, um, I like to refer people. <laughs> we'll say that. Anyway, <laughs> I do, I, I work in the nuclear field. I do engineering and project management. That's what you know. If you want to know more, message me on Instagram and we can chat. Um, I'm not gonna just refer anybody because I, I only, um, I don't want to just be known for referring anybody. That's not good. Any hoosies. Um, so after I got done with my work, I was getting him the link and um, writing up a little bit of a recommendation um, letter to my boss. <laughs> I wonder if I'll have comments on that. Probably. Um, I don't know which team would be the best fit for my friend, um, just as far as like what work we have in the pipeline. Um, since I've joined my company, I've moved around to a few different groups, so sometimes it just takes a little while to figure out um, where your skill set is needed, especially if you're a valuable candidate. Like, we know that we want you in the company. Um, I say we, like I have any say in the hiring process. Uh, but we're, we'll know that we want somebody in the company, but we might not have an opening where they're a best fit yet, or we know and we are pretty confident that we'll have work that they'll be a really good fit for um, coming in the pipeline, but we're still working on the proposals, so it's not ready for them yet. So um, we have them work on other things that might not be the absolute best thing. Um, well, we're waiting for that to come to fruition and everything. Anyway. Oh goodness, I've got so many, so many things I need to be working on. Um, but instead of doing any of that, I'm going to take a shower. Um, <laughs> as fun as this hair was, um, it has since been in a ponytail, it's been down, it's been messed with, um, by myself. In case that wasn't clear, I don't want to leave that ambiguous even in the slightest uh, people are weird anyway this is what happens when I get tired I just get like very chatty um so today has not been a good eating day uh, we're gonna have to fix that tomorrow um but I fly home tomorrow it'll be late plan for tomorrow is there are like one or two sessions left that I would like to attend. One of them being the closing statements. Um, I forget what the other topic is. Hopefully I'll get to actually attend and it won't be full before I get there. I did figure out, oh geez, my arm is gonna be very tired. Um, I did figure out, so the last two days, I just put in the convention center name which takes you to the convention center, but there's no parking, like, right there. And so, uh, first day, I just drove around until I found the appropriate event lot. There were some signs, but it was... It took longer than I cared to admit. And then, <laughs> the second day, today, uh, whenever I got close, I realized it was doing the same thing, because of course it was. Uh, but I knew the name of the parking center now, so then whenever I got close, I just put in the name of the parking center. So tomorrow, I'm going to start with the name of the parking center, and maybe I'll get there even faster. Uh, hopefully, because I won't be driving around in a circle. Some of these, oh my gosh. I hate, I hate driving in Atlanta. It's worse than Chicago, although I haven't driven in the center of Chicago before. So I, <laughs> bit of an, uh, anyway, gosh, I'm just, <sighs> so shower in the morning, we'll go watch closing statements, maybe even eat something before we get there or while we're there. They are supposed to have box lunches, but if the last couple of days 
are any indication there will either be a huge line or they just won't have enough although today i didn't do this and now i'm super regretting it oh i'm extra regretting it um in the main exhibit hall i don't know if they were there yesterday and they just didn't go to that part of the hall but there was a papa john's booth and a nathan's hot dog booth so i totally could have gotten food but when i saw them i was kind of in a rush to go to my last talk um but then I didn't even get to go to the talk that I wanted to go to which I'm glad that I went to the one that I went to anyway oh my god I talked too much but had I known that I would not have or I wasn't going to be allowed in the talk that I wanted to go to I definitely would have just gotten some pizza or a hot dog and then talked to more booths because there were some interesting ones um, there was a CIA booth, which had a sign saying no photography or videos. Uh, or maybe it was just no photography, no cameras, I don't remember, whatever. I think it might be in the background of some of my videos of the exhibit hall though, so... I don't know, maybe I'll uh, edit that out, but also for those shots, it's far enough away. I don't know, are they trying to hide their identities? I feel like they're trying to hide their identities they wouldn't be in a booth that said CIA, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, so I talked to them for a little bit. I talked to the CIA people for a little bit, and it turns out they were just there, like it was a job fair, recruiting people, which um, I don't think I'm going to apply for. It seemed interesting and working for the CIA would definitely be interesting especially as a project manager it wouldn't do very well as a field asset maybe in my youth um not even in my youth who am I kidding but also I don't think that I'd be able to have a YouTube channel if I was a CIA uh project manager so No, I don't I don't plan on applying. I might look a little bit more into it just because it sounds so interesting, but honestly, I am too much of an open book. I don't have like I have to have a filter about my current job and even that like I can still talk about in vague terms and that sort of thing. So, I don't know. I do think that I had a lot of fun. I don't think that the exhibit hall is going to be live tomorrow. Um, so probably, I don't know if I'll do anything other than go to the two talks, but hopefully get some food. If it's not the food that was included, um, then hopefully other food. At some point tomorrow. I'm definitely gonna eat something tomorrow. Or I might just like wither away into dust. That's not true. But anyway, oh my gosh. All right. Good night. I will see you in the morning. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. So this is what my hair is doing today. I swear, Georgia water is the worst for my hair. Maybe it's good for some people's hair types, but dear lord, it's it's bad. Um, Wisconsin's been really good to my hair. It's not always like perfect, but that's more to do with my laziness. Um, but like the texture and everything ends up being really nice. And then you got places like here. And I, I don't think it's the humidity because I've not been outside yet um, since I washed it last night. And it's, anyway. So we're getting ready. I'm packing my bag, um, cause, oof, that's terrible lighting. Uh, <laughs> checking out today, gonna go home. Um, but my flight home's not till really late. There's a little bit left to do at the conference, but then I'm gonna have a good chunk of time where I'm gonna go see my sister and her kid. Um, I think I already told you guys that, that was the plan. But so anyway, this morning, I had one session picked out, 
but it wasn't like super relevant. It was more just something to do. Uh, and I might still watch it later on because it does have to do with AI, but not really relevant to my work. Um, but so I decided, <laughs> made the executive decision since I ended up working so late last night that I was not going to go to that one and that I would just go to the later session and closing ceremonies, which I am still planning on going to. Um, but sleep in a little bit, be able to get a decent breakfast. Oh my god, I gotta brush my hair. This is terrifying. All of that to say, um, when I woke up, uh, I woke up to my boss calling me, um, early in the morning, at least early in his time zone, um, to, uh, uh, uh on a Saturday. Which, I mean, granted, he knows that I'm traveling for work, so it's not, like, I'm not, like, fully off the clock, but still worrisome, because he should be fully off the clock. Uh, <laughs> like, I don't know, something happened with the email that I sent last night, or uh, my travel, I don't know. I, I don't know what it could have been, but I was very worried about it. Um, so... I quit called him back. No answer. Um, because yeah, I was just gonna let it go to voicemail and not worry about it, which is what I would do normally on a weekend. But since I am traveling, I did call him back. No answer. Then I got a three minute voicemail and I was very concerned. <laughs> But luckily, before I started listening to the voicemail, he texted me back and said that it was a pocket dial and that it probably resulted in a very long voicemail and that he was sorry. And, um, so, huh. Now I'm awake. <laughs> um, and yeah, packing up. I was mostly packed last night, so it's just like toiletries and phone charger and the clothes I was wearing last night kind of stuff. Um, but I'll do it once over the room, make sure everything is grabbed that needs to be grabbed. Um, and we'll, we'll start heading towards breakfast and then the conference. So one thing I did not mention about that hotel room, God, my hair is still, it was so loud. So there's that giant highway, whatever, over there, probably 75 or 85 or whatever. Ambulances, sirens, just like people with very loud cars all night. Kept waking up, kept having weird dreams that involved some of those noises, you know, how those, that kind of thing will sink into your, your subconscious in the evening sometimes. I don't even remember any of the dreams. I just remember there was a lot. And I'm not somebody who typically um, feels like they dreamt. <laughs> like, even now, like, I feel like I dreamt, but I just don't remember the dreams. Whereas normally I feel like I didn't have any dreams at all that makes any sense um all right let's go get some food i'm hungry i do serve some breakfast at the hotel um but it's not continental free breakfast uh and based off of what i had the uh my experience with buying dinner here we're gonna go somewhere else <laughs> So it's delicious. Uh, it was the West Egg in Atlanta. That's where I am. <laughs> I got the banana French toast, banana bread French toast, which was good. It just kind of tasted like 
banana bread with caramel chorizo, which delicious. Um, but I was looking for a little bit more toastiness. Uh, and then the praline latte was kind of mid. I'm not, I don't know why I got the praline latte. The pumpkin spice latte just seemed too basic. Uh, I also threw my hair back. Y'all, okay. Let's get to the conference. Uh, yeah. There was an elevator. I took the stairs. It's only like two flights. But I'm proud. Should I be? Seems like really sad to be proud of that sort of thing. But go birds. Oh wait, is that the eagles? This is a falcon, I guess. So this year I've been to the US Bank Stadium, the Vikings. Been in there. I've been in the Lambeau Field, the Packers Stadium. And now I'm at the Falcon Stadium. Um, I'm not going in there because I've got no reason to. It's not a game day. I just think it's real cool that my conference is right around the corner from it. And that statue looks really cool. Um, <clears throat> maybe one day I'll go in there. I don't know. I don't think that I've been in it. So back in 2008, I don't know. When I was in high school, or maybe when I was in middle school, I don't even remember, my football, my school's football team got to the state, um, semifinals. I wanted to call it the vice championship. That's not what that is. The semifinals. And they played in the Falcon Stadium. But I'm pretty sure it was before uh, it became the Mercedes-Benz Stadium, and this one was built. I feel like it was a different one. It was also a long time ago, and I didn't really care. I was just there because it was like uh, my sister and my dad, and I all went. It was just a fun thing to do together. Um, couldn't even tell you if we won. I can tell you we got hot chocolate. That was an important moment for me. No, I think this, is <laughs> this is the exhibit hall. Yesterday was full of companies and people, and now only one little bit is open, and that's where the keynote closing speaker is going to be. seating around the whole thing so theoretically all of the seats will be good seats but we want the best seat <laughs>
using the secret second elevator. Because that first one was that, that crowd. Oh, jeez. Also, then we got the food for that crowd. Yes. If you want to know how I'm feeling, just peachy. All right, I'm not actually that hungry. It just the breakfast was pretty filling. Not a lot of protein though. Um, but so now I'm going to my sister's house. I did grab a turkey sandwich in case I get hungry, but I will probably just end up giving that to my sister slash brother-in-law. Uh, Cause yeah. Eh. A severe one, yeah. Um, I do want to show a few things. really bring my little like mounty thing with me uh it's so useful so many reasons especially because the way the plug in this car works and the type of charger i brought i can't get my um android auto to play i needed to bring my usb uh usb b I think it's called? I don't know. I needed to bring my other charger. Oh well. So many cars now, either one will let you plug in. Um, so I just brought the USB-C one. Any who's all. Hung out with my sister. My parents came down to, they live not in Atlanta, but not super far either. So they stopped by, got to see my little uh, niece, who's just the cutest and growing up so fast and it makes me so sad but I don't get to be around for more of her like formative couple of months, years. Uh, but we'll see her again soon. I don't know when this video is coming up. I don't, I don't like forecasting my travel too much. And then around Christmas, I'll, I'll, I'll see her. So twice, in, two more times in the next couple months at least. And then I'm sure around her birthday, I'll make another trip, which is sometime next year. <laughs> um, anywho, so, uh, now we're going to dinner in separate cars because I'm going to go straight to the airport from dinner, but, uh, so it'll be my parents, sister, brother-in-law, and, uh, baby. And we're going to a place called OK Cafe, which apparently is an Atlanta staple. And apparently was right near where my conference was. Uh, so I'm just going to go back to that general area. And then, um, so yeah, I'll try and get some shots in the restaurant. But, you know, I don't like sharing too much of my family. If they want to be on it, they can. Um, nieces and nephews and all of that are not in the videos. So if you go really far back, there are some like pictures or a couple shots um, from before I knew anything about internet safety. So don't watch those. Uh, and if you do watch them, comment on them so that I can go and hide them um, from public view. Uh, but they're just in random ones from like 2012 or whenever I first started my channel. Um, so I don't, I don't even know which ones I would be in. Anyway, if anybody wants to be in the video, they totally can be, as long as they are adult age. Why am I telling you guys this? Um, whenever I have my own kids, if I ever have kids, however that happens in the future, I don't know what my rules would be for them appearing in vlogs, it seems like it would be very difficult to be a parent to a child and not um, have them be in the vlog, especially because most of my vlogs are about traveling, and uh, other than traveling for work, I'm guessing that um, they would go with me on most trips, so 
yeah, I don't know what that would, would look like if that is a thing that happens in the future. I'm gonna cut that out. I, why am I talking about this? This is for the okay takeaway spots. For the great takeaway, you gotta park somewhere else. So, that side is takeaway, that side is cafe. Guess which side I parked on? Yeah, not the cafe side. All right, so that was okay cafe and takeaway. It was okay. I got the pimento cheeseburger. It was made with, uh, I think, jalapeno uh, pimento. Ah. I'd get it again. It, the burger kind of crumbled, which it, this is the second burger I've had recently that that happened where it was, yeah, the, the meat, the beef, was just falling apart. I'm used to buns falling apart, not burgers. So maybe, like it's starting to make me feel like maybe I'm eating them wrong by gripping them too tightly. There's so many jokes running through my head right now that um, I'm not going to put on the internet. Uh, anyway, so now we're going to the airport. It's a little bit early, but I'm getting kind of sleepy, so I want to get through security so I can get a Diet Coke before we get on the flight. Or do I want to try and sleep on the flight? I don't know. I don't know. Let's get, let's return the rental car and then we can decide. We've been hoping we'll figure out a way to do it, and in fact, curiosity is that happens, which is wild. That is wild. But these would be like, they would not have to pass through the atmosphere. Those of you that never gave up, that never unsubscribed, so please enjoy this classic episode of Info. Rental car returned with a little less than two hours to my flight, which is great. So, I'm gonna take the SkyTrain to the airport. The other thing, reason to get to the Atlanta airport early is because then you have to take a tram. Sometimes it takes a while, or there's just way too many people, so I decide to walk. That also takes a while. <sighs> so many decisions. Please stand clear of the doors. Doors closing. Please stand clear of the doors. All right. Welcome aboard the ATL SkyTrain. Please hold on, this train is departing. Next stop is ATL West Parking, GICC, and Gateway Center Hotel. Welcome How did they get that through security? The Varsity. So if you don't know, the Varsity is an Atlanta staple. I didn't know that they had one in the airport, but supposedly it was originally founded by someone who was kicked out of Georgia Tech, I think for low grades. He built one across the highway from Georgia Tech as a like middle finger to the school and been like, ah, I am successful even without your dumb diploma. I think it's fine. It's like, I like the food, but it is kind of weirdly kitschy. I do not need any books. I do not need any books. I do not need any books. But what about, no.
Asking the important questions. You bought books at the airport bookstore. It wasn't me. Okay, it may have been me, just don't... Don't tell John. Okay, just got off the plane. Uh, I realized I didn't tell you what books I got. So, I got Be Brief and Tell Me Everything, a novel about an author who is dealing with some tough times. Um, but the author is from Milwaukee, like the actual author of the book. I don't know if in the book they're also from Milwaukee. And then, <laughs> uh, Mrs. Dalloway, food. Virginia Woolf, which this is just a gorgeous copy. I've wanted to read this for a while. Um, and this copy was so pretty, I could not. They had a whole bunch of Penguin Classic Deluxe Editions, I guess they're called. Um, they just had gorgeous covers, but most of them I already owned, so I couldn't really justify buying them. I mean, I could, but anyway, thanks for going to the conference with me. Have a good one, and I'll see you in the next video. Good night, sweet dreams.